Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, so I wanted to um, look at something <coughs> sorry, <coughs> uh, which I kind of skipped when I created my character which I think is uh, interesting for the background of the clan Gangrel and that is um, how the attributes and abilities are actually distri distributed and also the description which kinda gives you a few hints about well how the clan Gangrel operates so here it says physical attributes the Gangrel's kinship with the beast gives them tre tremendous strength and grace of movement which is pretty cool so in general <coughs> there are more uh, physical and uh, combat orientated, uh, or oriented. Um, and yeah, this is also the way I wanna, I wanna play my uh, Gangrel individual. Um, <coughs> while with social attributes, they're not that strong. The elite of vampire society have little regard for Gangrel. The feeling is mutual, which is quite funny. So yeah, they're more solitary in nature, and they're also not huge fans of that whole jihad um, power struggle kind of thing, politics and all that. They kind of stick to themselves. Um, <clears throat> yeah, mental. The Gangrel's predatory, predatory nature lends to heightened perception and quick wits. So this is like uh, average. You can distribute one point here, zero here, and two there. And here again with the abilities, the st strong thing is uh, on skills. But first we have talents. Um, and it says in the description the animalistic gangrel draw from strong instincts so you get average points for that at the be beginning I mean you don't get to do to distribute many points anyway so it doesn't really matter I guess but for if you want to consider the flair and the background of the gangrel that's how, how uh, the developers saw it how it should be distributed so yeah this is all physical stuff like fight brawling and, and dodging but also a little social I guess social um, attributes talents intimidation uh, subterfuge and here comes the strong suit of the gang rule uh, when it comes to abilities uh, vampires of the Ga Gangrel clan are capable of amazing feats of skill so you can put more points into melee and firearms and security and stealth that kind of things and yeah knowledge isn't that great with them uh, they're not the deep sinker kind of guy kind of types kind of guys um, okay so you only have one point in there and with the disciplines we already have to, um, spoken about them talked about them so uh, yeah cancel let me go to my save uh, which would be this one. yeah so we were about to go up here to get our astrolite back for Mercurio which um, they robbed from him or they kind of tricked him and stole his money and give him the explosives and here you have a nice view of the, the pier of Santa Monica from above plane Actually, the graphics aren't that bad. I mean, considering 
how old the game is by now. Help you. So this is our first real mission and as with many missions that are uh, about to come um, you can choose different approaches and uh, I would start with the um, social one for starters which is a little odd maybe I don't know depends uh, let's see what he says. So, do I look dangerous to you? I'm sure a big man like you isn't scared of me. Dude, just go in. Ugh. <laughs> man, did I say I love the dialogues? Alright. So this would be the social approach. Mm. Damn it, I yeah, yeah alright can like fast talk and persuade the guys giving you what the, the criminals here so sucks into giving you what what you want that's also the option <laughs> <laughs> he's referencing Mercurial Lots of homophobic or anti homosexual hom remarks. Hmm, yeah, that might happen. So it was kind of an act of compassion that they only broke some bones and let him live. So there would have also been the option for them to just get rid of him and drown him somewhere in the ocean or something. So the other approach would be like more stealthier, like you, you sneak in and do the si silent kill stuff. and. There's also this. What the? Dude, who turned off the power? Yes. I was just about to unlock Shen Fix the Long. lights, damn it. You turn on the power, bitch. Fix the lights, Get Al. the lights or I'll shove that control up your ass. Uh, all right, man. <laughs> and as I've already mentioned, hmm, the stealth system is qu quite OP, quite overpowered in my opinion, almost to the point of it being broken. Because, as you can, as you can clearly see here now, I've got like, okay, three points in stealth, it's not that bad, it's average, but not a chance for him to see me there, while I, I'm actually standing out in the open. Alright, so this this is a little a little too much, if you ask me. So they still don't know that I'm here now. I guess I could still go in and talk to them. I don't know. Let's try and let's see what's happened. Oh, alright, the door here is closed. So this is also part of the stealth ap approach. Uh, I could buff myself here with blood buff to get in, but I don't want to waste my blood now. Um, and the last approach, also no, they are already in fighting mode. The last approach would be what we are doing now, is to beat the hell out of them. Oops. So, man, I'm still... As I've said, ego shooter. I'm not used to using control for ducking, for crouching.
Can I jump through here? Uh, not necessary anymore. If you have a good a brawl skill, you can actually just suck him dry. It also helps with your health, gives you health back. So this is always a good option. And yeah, we're going to put some points in later, but I haven't spent those three points that you have seen in the character menu here yet because I want to go for the discipline first and that is a little more expensive so the next dot and protein would be 10 points so we're going to save those doll man <laughs> we're going to save them for now and if there's a guy behind the door it's even worse you can have like a little game of closing and op opening the door countless times so that would be the astrolite let's see if there's still anyone left here oh yeah by the way another stats approach so you get automatically like he talks to you this guy who was standing guard here but to prevent that you can also just um, go through the through the fence there and, and that will be the complete stats approach. Oh yeah, so that's still one guy left. And it doesn't always work. We need more in brawl and and strength. But it works already quite well. Three points in strength, no points in brawl. car stereo which we can sell later and that's it there's also a computer here usually you can hack hack those things but not this time man that crouching thing drives me nuts all right let's not get stuck here move back a little this is complicated so this is like a little niche some sort of hiding spot and we found a money envelope with mercurius money and we have five point no points now instead of three great lovely and the astrolite so thermite thermite explosion it was all an inside job you know anyway so yeah yeah we're done here oh yeah by the way I'm still kind of testing with like sound and editing stuff uh, different programs and, and whatnot so bear with me a little not everything is perfect like with the volume levels and the quality sometimes va might vary um, I am still trying to f find the right uh, settings it's been a w really a while since I've um, dug into this topic and yeah so again bear with, bear with me a little here alright so let's go back to the city and yeah we can we could go to to back to mercurio but i think i want to actually um like explore the city a little bit more before we go back there because it obviously is part of the main quest and if you go back there it will advance the main quest and some if you do that sometimes um, some options might be skipped not nothing major of course but I don't know I want to get the most out of it so I'm trying to like get an overall uh, impression of the city first 
before we move along. So this is the other ex exit now, out of the parking garage. Garage. And there are still some places where we cannot enter yet. This is the asylum where the lunatics are, I guess. So who might be running this, I wonder. And this is the diner. The time of judgment, which would be Gehenna in the world of darkness. Vampire the Masquerade. Yeah, you gotta have one of those. The end is nigh. Oh, oh it is actually here. Uh huh, sure. So, our blood pool is full, which is great. Veil bones. We will go later there. But first, this is also all locked here. Now yeah, closed. I want to go to the diner first. And if we remember correctly, the Sinblood guy named E said um, he only knows what his sire Lily told him before he parted ways with her. You might want to check out the Surfside Diner in town and see if she's there. So, let's do that. Oh, um, there's also, uh, inside the club here, there's also copyright music issue. There's a great music track in there, which I very much love, which is the best in the game. But I will have to see how I deal with that if I go in there so video might get flagged you know the usual U YouTube fun stuff that you get so it says uh, AI disabled I don't know that's I guess with the patch something a message that appears I don't know for whatever reason <coughs> now as you have noticed mm, you don't succeed all right there are many guys, I'm eating. like NPCs, non-player characters, that um, you cannot talk to. You don't have the uh, option. No. Another fucking run in my pantyhose. Mm hmm. Also, that cook. I beg your pardon. Which, uh, well, he has uh, a tie, uh, no. which is a little weird for a cook, if you ask me. But this guy, you can talk to. Something I can help you with. Um, chilly out there tonight. I guess. So, you seem preoccupied. You okay? I don't see how that's any business of yours. Not very talkative. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Goodbye then. So that's weird, huh? You can talk to him, but he doesn't have anything to say. So, yeah, odd. That so that le leaves us with this woman here. What'll it be? Um, you ever see any pale kind of strange types in here late at night? Is that a trick question? Hmm. You see any girls hanging out here? Pale girls. Pale girls. Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. <laughs> Should we know her? The Fitzsimmons albino. Have you ever heard the term sin blood? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? I like that, that she says it sounds familiar. <laughs> um... Anyone that maybe tried to drink someone else's blood? No, no, I have never seen that. Uh, you see a couple in here a few months ago? Surfer guy, pretty girl. Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, about four dozen <laughs> <a week. laughs> Sarcastic to no end. Try to remember, where did you hear sin blood? Mm. 
I know I've heard that before. Maybe a kind of strange pretty girl said something about it recently. Oh, that girl. Nice oh. girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tip and she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry too. Hmm. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? So that's the thing with vampires, right? They always are kind of hungry, and they also have trouble digesting things since they are dead, naturally. So there is a system actually in the pen and paper game that under certain certain circumstances you can uh, like digest something, but um, yeah, that's not that too much into that. Thanks a lot. I'll be sure to do that. And another experience point for us. And we retrieved Lily's belongings and gained an item. Girl's photo. And a bail bond. Right. And also a key. So quite quite a lot of stuff purse, money in it is always good but first let me see six points, still four points missing and um, oh no, we gotta check uh, the inventory now yeah, what do we have here, the wooden steak from the beach, some blood um this is the receipt for bail bond. The bail bond was for one Rolf Toten. So yeah. Rolf Toten. Let's keep this in mind. Uh oh wait, I wasn't finished yet. Pill bottles? Estrogen. Weird. Do not take if male. <laughs> this is basically stuff that you just can sell, like this watch. This is the Astrolite powerful liquid explosive. And this is a photo, quite shiny. Mm, and that would be Lily. The guy was a uh, uh, Batic shirt there. Uh, Batic top. Um, a barely visible message on the back of the photo reads August uh, 03, Santa Monica, Lily. And a purse left behind in the diner. So we can't use it, we can't open it. Open it. So maybe we should give it back to her. So the first we get that we got was um, bail bond. Uh, so let's go to. Um, to A and B kill Patrick's bail bonds. Oh, if you are thirsty, there's usually a, another bum in there. But we aren't yet, so for a second. Um, let's talk to this guy. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24-Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? You can stop kissing my ass, fat boy. <laughs> well, that isn't quite gentlemanlike. Uh, I'm new around here. I just had a few questions. Sure, pal. What is it? I'm curious about your business. Bail bonding? What do you want to know? Do you run this place? Or oh, the radio is interfering with the dialogue here. Oh, it's still the boat guy. It's the yachting guy. Yep, sure do you do. run this place? I'm a third generation bondsman. Got a few third generation? Oh. I handle most every aspect of the business. 
I don't see any employees, Arthur. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours, plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> Bounty Hunter. No, that's got to be an interesting job. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the Did day. Did you? Takes a solid set of brass balls brass to make a balls. good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Sure. Is the bounty hunter you have now any good? Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Hmm, so he's missing. So fire him. Well, I don't feel right cutting cross and loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Sounds like another mission for us. I suppose I could, but you'd better make it worth my while. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card that'll let you in. Santa Monica Suits. Where might that be? Let's have a look. Before I go, could you answer a question? Sure, pal. What is it? Have you heard about the murders in town? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier, just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore him up. They're saying it's a serial killer. A serial killer of which we believe it is probably a vampire. Well, at least if we're... I think it was the the Sinblood um, seer or prophet or whatever that said that. That the killer is dead, right? And he is... the dead killer is going to do something in the future. So we assume that it it is a vampire. Uh, what are the cops doing about it? Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. Um, if you say so. I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. I'm actually not sure if I really do have more questions. Sure, pal. What is it? See? Actually, I'm going to get out of here. See ya. All right. I don't like it when the radio and the dialogue interferes here. You'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie. Even though it's funny, the ads and all that stuff. But now prepare for the most hilarious talking is normally need object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on. It's kind of like GTA. They like to do that stuff too. Some nonsense, nonsense ads. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash. She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar <laughs> about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> so so They're learning to make the most of their special. So we had a name, so Rolf Toten. Really? She wasn't like everybody else. When she pushed my buttons, she was very gentle. Oh, honey, if you don't stop, I'm gonna have to make a deposit. Hmm hmm hmm. cash. So this is a guy uh, that was with long, um, Lily's belongings. Perpetrators of criminality, bond written, immigration, type of bond, lightning bird, red car, 77. The plate is Guy, <coughs> oh man my voice, <coughs> Guy Coney. Notes go back to Germania. Pal, we don't take the euro in these parts. So yeah, if you're wondering why this strange guy doing the let's play kind of sounds a little weird and pronounces the words uh, wrong sometimes or uses the wrong words, that's why. Because I'm also from uh, Germania, right? Uh, so that's why. Um, yeah, so we have to look out for this car. Um, let's check. Uh, oh, by the way, Toten in German, um, actually, Tod means dead. So, it, you could say, kind of, uh, refers to the plural of uh, dead. Like, 
it it uh, it has the same uh, uh, basic uh, words. Uh, so let's try to hack that. And our hacking is not good enough for that. Was about to meet his greatest foe. Kill them all! All of them! Alright, that's enough radio for now. So yeah. Um go to the asylum next. Um that might be a short testing video. Because, as I've said, I have to watch out that I don't get the copyright. I mean, um, it won't be a strike, I think. But when I did the started the Let's Play the last time, which I didn't finish, and I, 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 I tried to make a Vampire Let's Play already before. So that got kind of flagged. So I'm kind of trying to prevent that. So maybe I'll have to... Mm, lower the v volume like a lot anyway we'll see about about that next time let's save and yeah until then later